Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss a topic that I get asked about a lot and one that athletes, parents, and coaches seek solutions for. It's called athlete burnout. I'll share seven reasons why athletes burn out and several methods for overcoming this growing struggle. Also make sure to stick around until the end of the video as I'll lay out the details on how to improve burnout and get you back or your athlete back on track to performing better and enjoying the sport again. Athlete burnout is defined as a syndrome of physical or emotional exhaustion caused by long-term stress and in most cases is due to continual training resulting in staleness, overtraining, and overall emotional unhappiness. This is often due to frequent and unsuccessful efforts to meet excessive demands and expectations placed upon themselves and others. As a result, athletes withdraw themselves from the sport altogether. On the contrary to popular belief, in sports culture, burnout is usually due to heightened levels of stress and anxiety, and not due to a sudden drop in motivation or loss of love for the sport. One factor that increases the likelihood of burnout is overemphasizing winning. As the pressure to win grows, many athletes will dedicate more time training and feel heightened levels of stress. In addition to the training is the cognitive battle that resides in the athlete's mind throughout the day. The battle often consists of fearful thoughts about negative future outcomes, such as failing to reach their goals. One common example I've heard from athletes whom I work with is a statement such as, my biggest fear is putting in all of this work and it not paying off. These type of thoughts manifest into fears, which then turn into beliefs. The longer the athlete spends indulged in his or her fearful thoughts about the future, the more unhappy they become, thus often resulting in wanting to quit. This decision acts as a safety response to threat. The first reason why some athletes burn out is due to fear of failure. To many athletes who are experiencing burnout, quitting appears to be a safer option than dedicating more time to the sport, seeing their hard work all the way through, and coming up short of achieving their idealized goals. But the long-term effects of quitting can also affect the athlete later down the road, as they develop sadness, regret, and resentment towards their past decisions. Before discussing the second reason, please like the video if you haven't, as it greatly helps out the channel's algorithm. Also, if you're interested in improving the mental game, please subscribe to the channel. I release new videos every week. The second component that leads to burnout is due to what is called motivational climate. Motivational climate is a psychological environment that the coach creates in efforts to help the athlete achieve heightened levels of motivational benefits in addition to improving their skill level. Athletes who experience burnout often report a lack of motivation in their training. This means that athletes who experience burnout are unhappy with their motivational climate. This may be due to several factors such as excessive negativity among coaches and other athletes. Another factor that may lead to burnout among an athlete's motivational climate is when the practice environment becomes monotonous, repetitive, and predictable. Exercising the same drills and player matchups every day for the athlete over an extended period of time can take a lot of the joy out of training and create frustration and boredom. A third factor that leads to burnout among many athletes is excessive criticism, analysis, and negativity from an athlete's support group. This is mostly found among parents and coaches. When athletes are constantly reminded of what they're doing wrong and their performance is overly analyzed, it often leads to athletes resenting their support team and even quitting the sport altogether. The fourth reason why athletes often burn out is due to reoccurring injuries. Athletes who experience chronic setbacks due to injuries often struggle with motivation and self-confidence in their abilities to keep pursuing their sports goals. In some cases, they may quit the sport as they no longer wish to endure the sacrifices required to succeed at a higher level. The fifth reason why athletes burn out is due to a lack of performance growth. Athletes who train in environments that are not challenging sometimes get bored as they're unable to experience improvement and their training environment fails to prepare them for upcoming competitions. The sixth reason why some athletes burn out is due to overtraining. Many top athletes have rigorous training schedules, and when those schedules are left without moments of physical and emotional recovery, it sometimes leads to athletes quitting. The seventh reason why athletes burn out is due to comparing. 
Many athletes and their support team fall into the comparison trap where abilities and results are often compared to their peers. Although this type of analysis may seem useful from a learning standpoint, it becomes very counterproductive emotionally. I've worked with many athletes who struggle with this among their coaches, parents, and peers. Now let's discuss some ways on how to turn burnout into passion. First, let's begin with the immediate solution, taking time off. If you or an athlete you work with is experiencing athlete burnout, it may be beneficial to award them a blocked amount of time away from their sport. This amount of time could range from a few weeks to a month. In addition to taking time off physically from training, also take time off from discussing the sport. What I found in my work is that many athletes who take some time off return to their sport emotionally refreshed and look forward to pursuing their goals. The next tip to eliminating burnout is to modify their motivational climate. Let's break this down into several areas. The first part is coaching. Although most coaches I've worked with are excellent and very positive towards their athletes, there are some who do not match up well with their athletes. Some signs of this may be excessive negativity, criticism, and or apathy towards the athlete and their training. Other signs may be a lack of commitment due to favoritism or what sports such as baseball refer to as daddy ball. If you notice this, first schedule a meeting to discuss the situation and look to come to a solution that eliminates the negative emotional effects. If after the meeting you still don't see a change, then it may be time to look somewhere else. An athlete's motivational climate is often directly related to their team. Lastly, some coaches are overly busy working with many athletes at once and are unable to provide an appropriate amount of attention to the athlete to assist them with their emotional needs. The next tip is to refresh the athlete's weekly training regimen. Adding new workouts, drills, even new training locations such as a trip to the beach or outside park. This approach may remove the staleness the athlete is experiencing from predictable monotonous training. Also, make sure to ask the athlete what they enjoy. Of course, any training regimen still needs to include the required tasks necessary to reach their goals. In addition, coaches may also introduce outside competition to their athlete's training environment. Sometimes bringing in outside talent may also spark a newfound passion in the athlete, where they zone in more during practice and rediscover a motivational love for their sport. Lastly, if the athlete is still struggling with motivation, then please seek professional services. This is a major game changer for many athletes and their team. At SPMI, I personally have helped countless athletes and their teams during these tough times by meeting with everyone and creating a structured plan to help the athlete rediscover their love for the sport while also helping the coaches better understand their athlete and foster improved relationships. This same approach is often necessary for parents and has served to help them not only in sports, but also at home. So thank you so much for watching, and if you haven't liked the video yet, please do. Also, if you're interested in learning more about the mental game and taking your performance to the next level, then please remember to subscribe to the channel. In addition, I encourage every athlete, parent, and coach who is watching to visit the company website at the link below to learn more, and feel free to contact us if you have any questions or interested in getting started. I left some athlete testimonial links as well as success story links below to learn more on the many athletes who have gone through the program and have benefited greatly in their sports, academics, careers, and personal lives. At SPMI, I offer a variety of services, from online group training to in-depth courses and one-on-one -on -one sessions with myself. So thank you so much for watching, and until next time. Thank you.